Hi, this is Stephen Shankland. I'm a reporter with CNET News with a quick look at the new HTC Desire HD Android phone that HTC announced today in London. This is a new Android phone. The most notable feature of it is the large 4.3 inch diagonal screen. It's uh, got a resolution of 800 by 480 and it's notable, uh, of course, for a lot of real estate when you're browsing the internet, reading books, or uh, if you like to uh, watch movies, this can stream movies to your TV, or you can also watch them right here on the phone if you'd like. It's a pretty nice screen. It's a super LCD, which uh, HTC has lower power consumption and better colors and contrast. We also have a look here at the HTC Desire Z. The most notable feature of this is its flip out keyboard here. It goes very quickly into a hardware keyboard mode. If you look at it from the side, you can see that it actually pivots up and the uh, screen is fairly close to flush with the keyboard, which HTC says improves typing and also the ability to move your hands back and forth between hitting the screen buttons and hitting the hardware keyboard. The hardware keyboard feels reasonable to me. One of the nice features is it's got uh, two custom buttons, so you can customize that, for example, by just pushing it the first time. You can assign a function, we'll say launch something, uh, the clock. Okay, sounds good if you'd like to use your clock often. So now when I push that button, it takes me straight to the clock. HTC's Sense user interface also includes an application called FriendStream. This is basically a consolidated social networking tool. You can see Facebook and Twitter status updates here. You can switch between different views. Here are the photos. If you want to see what links people are sending around, it shows that. You can create customized lists of specific people you want to follow, your A-list, your VIP list. And there's a section for notifications as well. One thing you might want to do with a large screen is read books. And there's a built-in reader application. It's got a number of public domain books here. If you want to take a look at them, they are uh, supplied through a partnership with Kobo, which provides access to a lot of books. And there's also a built-in bookstore. It's a standard reader application. One thing that's the same from the earlier version of Sense UI to this one is if you hold down the home key while you're on the home key, you get the view of lots of thumbnails of your home screen. So for example, you can then touch one. This is the very uh, picture-oriented version of the uh, contacts list if you need to call somebody or send some email. 